Hello again, this is Dean with People Creative, and today's episode, I'm going to review the Wincraft V2, and this is the 90 liter board, which is 4 foot 11 by 28 and 3 quarter inches wide. This board has been a lot of fun. I've been testing this for a few months, and it is a true performance board, but yet very user friendly. Board will suit heavyweight riders, the onshore surf venues where the wind's super light and fluffy, light and gusty winds on lakes and rivers, and anyone transitioning from a beginner board into their first sub five foot board, this would be perfect. On the 80 liter board, the tracks come out of the back of the board, but on the 90, they're a little bit further forward and I use the Phantasm 926 foil at around number seven on the twin track uh, measurement. The board shape itself, wide and stable, lots of volume even throughout with narrow tail width and lots of nose rocker, which is very helpful and you will see later in the video. I am a heavy weight rider myself at 200 pounds, which is 90 kilograms. And this board has plenty of deck space, lots of width, lots of volume. So when you climb up on the board and you're in a choppy area or maybe in the surf, it's nice and stable. You can climb on and you can get going really fast. Plenty of volume in the nose all the way through towards that back strap area where it starts to slim down and it has a lot narrow width tail to help you pump the board up in light winds also. Okay, first part of the video, I'm using a 5.5 sling wing. This particular day was really cold and the wind was really gusty as well. So it was a good overall test of this board in that type of conditions. That's exactly the conditions I wanted to test this board. Real life, you know, where the winds are up and down just like they would be if you're inland on a lake or perhaps you're on the ocean side but the wind is onshore and you know the wind lifts and you've got big holes and wind shadows and that's exactly the board i'm looking to use those conditions in okay so we're coming up to the second part in the video we are just cruising through the swells here and the next part the wind was steadier this day. I'm using the 5.0 Javelin. And this was also a good test to see how it would handle with winds up to around 18 miles an hour. And it is no problem at all. Jibes and banks through the turns, really nice. So if you're looking for a board that you know you want to work on your transitions jibes duck jibes and tacks and things like that hillside tacks this is this board is ideal again nice and smooth through the turns glass and up winds get some air time do you see how it just lands and pops back up that nose rocker on the board really helps you, you know, not only does it help you pump the board up when you first get foiling, but if you are landing from a jump, that volume and that nose rocker just pops you straight back up on the foil, ready for the next transition. Here we go again, some air time, comes down, couple few pumps, back up we go this was another really gusty day um, wind was really up and down and massive holes out there in the middle of the channel and it was no problem at all with this board all right so we're coming to the end of the video now if you have any comments please leave them below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you like please like and subscribe and join us for the next video and i'll talk to you soon Thanks very much.